It's currently, at the time of filming this, September 2024, around about five years since I started this YouTube channel. And in that time, a lot of stuff has changed and I have learned a hell of a lot and I continue to all of the time. Ignore the pyjamas, by the way. I'm having a bit of a, a lazy editing day at home. I like days like this. I haven't actually always made videos about cameras and photography like I do now. If I go back to when I did start this channel, I don't know what actually made me start it. It's a little bit weird like that because I've never seen myself as a creative person. I always looked at creative people, whether they were musicians, photographers, filmmakers, and almost be a little bit jealous of them that I I wasn't creative. And that's, that's where this YouTube channel comes in really. And that's what it, this YouTube channel changed everything for me. So this channel started out as pretty much an acoustic guitar cover channel. There was a lot of me doing Oasis covers because I was obsessed with Oasis, I still am. And I cannot believe that Oasis are actually getting back together. I never thought that would happen in a million years. I need to be myself. I can't be no one else. I'm feeling supersonic. Give me gin and tonic. You could have it all, but how much do you want it? Yeah, that's what this channel started out as. And when I started, I had no experience of making videos at all. So for me to start making videos on YouTube was a little bit weird. And that's what I mean when I say I don't actually know why I did it. But I did it and I very quickly became obsessed with it. I used to do a little bit of photography as a kid. I was never really any good, but I enjoyed messing around with cameras. By doing that on YouTube, by learning how to make videos, it kind of got me interested in that again and it brought me full circle back around to photography. Good luck in the afterlife. I hear the morning. And then over time, photography kind of took back over from music until long story short, I got to where I am now, where I get to do photography all day, every day, and do YouTube on the side and talk about cameras and photography. And I absolutely love it. I never thought I would be doing this. But I think the not knowing why I started a channel in the first place was absolutely key for me anyway, because it meant that I was... I was doing it without the pressure of having to do it for a reason. There was no pressure to do anything other than to just have fun with it. On that point, similarly, when you're doing YouTube, it helps you to develop your craft. So for me as a photographer or getting back interested in photography when I started my channel, it helped me find that motivation to actually go out and do that thing, to go out and make photographs and learn how to get better at making videos each and every single time I did it. And that, that was the fun part. That was the part that I enjoyed the most. And that's great because the only way to learn to get better at something is to keep doing it over and over. You can watch all of the tutorials and videos in the world that tell you how to do something but without actually going to do it for yourself, you're never going to improve. And YouTube for me was exactly that. It was just the perfect excuse to keep making things over and over. And I became genuinely obsessed about it to the point where if I didn't make a video for a few days, I kind of got itchy feet and I just wanted to make something again. And that's where my passion for photography and video genuinely started to build. And in turn, my passion for creativity, which is something that I never thought I could be. As I mentioned earlier, I was jealous of creative people, but I wouldn't be doing what I do now without YouTube. Now I don't do YouTube full time. I would love to one day, but without YouTube, I wouldn't be working full time as a photographer and videographer. And that is something I'm massively grateful for and thankful to for starting this YouTube channel. How many times can I say YouTube in one sentence? YouTube is one of those things though, that the more you do it and the more you get into it, you realize just how much it can do for you and what is actually possible with it. If you're willing to put in the hard yards, and I genuinely mean the hard yards. If you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel just to make a little bit of extra money on the side because you think it's quick and easy, don't bother starting a YouTube channel because it takes a lot of hard work. Vid making videos takes a long time. You've got to be willing to do it when it's the last thing you want to do. But if you can get past that, 
the possibilities with YouTube are genuinely, genuinely endless. You really need to have the passion for making videos, I think, because otherwise you'll end up making a few videos, you'll see that nothing is really happening and then you'll lose interest very quickly and you'll end up quitting. It takes years to get anything out of it, but that shouldn't ever be a problem if you are passionate about making videos because that is, that's what gives you the drive to just keep creating new things all of the time. And over time, if you stick with it, you start to see things happening and it makes it worth the grind. It opens up so many opportunities that you just never thought would be possible at all. Back in May of this year, I got invited out to Osaka in Japan, which is the other side of the world entirely to me. I never thought I'd get the opportunity to go to Japan, but I was invited out by one of the biggest camera brands in the world, Lumix, for the release of a new camera. That would never have happened if it wasn't for me starting this YouTube channel and growing my passion for photography and video. Now it was genuinely terrifying because it is something that I never thought I would have the opportunity to do, to fly out to the other side of the world with a massive brand, with loads of people from all over the world that I've never met before. But I use Lumix cameras every single day in my day job as a photographer. So it is something that I jumped at and I took the opportunity. But it turned out to be one of the most incredible weeks of my life and I met so many incredible people from all over the world that I'd watched on YouTube for years. And just being in the same room as them and getting the chance to talk to them about what they do every single day was one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had. And it made me realise that I had made the right choice with going down the road of YouTube. And when you go on trips like that as well, it's really refreshing because you realize that everyone is just exactly the same as you. Everyone is just trying to figure it all out for themselves. It is so easy as photographers, creatives, filmmakers, whatever you want to call yourself, a lot of us tend to be quite introverted and we work by ourselves 99% of the time, which means it can be quite a lonely career. But things like that help you to meet so many new people and make new friends. And that is genuinely one of my favorite things that has happened to me from doing YouTube over the last five years or so. I've met more photographers and friends through this YouTube channel over the last five years or so with the same interests as me than I have in my whole life. I never even knew any photographers local to me, never mind on the other side of the world, and now I'm friends with photographers on the other side of the world. It's mental. And that for me is genuinely one of the most worthwhile things that I've found through starting a YouTube channel. So five years into my YouTube journey, it's been a proper roller coaster with some genuine highs like the Japan trip a few months ago, but then also some times of just genuinely genuinely hating it and wanting to completely knock it on the head and quit entirely. But on the whole, I I love it. It's been one of the best things I've ever done starting this YouTube channel. I've still got a hell of a lot to learn with it and I've still got a hell of a long way to go to get it to where I want to be in the future. But I'm in it now and I wouldn't change that for anything. It still confuses the hell out of me. I've not got to grips with titles or thumbnails or any of that stuff that apparently makes YouTube work better, but that's all just part of the the YouTube journey and trying to figure out what works and being creative, but still finding the enjoyment in it. And that's the important thing because it's, it's very easy to all of a sudden not enjoy it. So that's where I'm trying to get back to at the moment is getting back to enjoying it because I've gone through a little bit of a phase the last couple of months of it feeling like a little bit of a chore. So um, yeah, if you are considering starting a YouTube channel, just do it, but do it for the right reasons. That is the main thing that I've learned through doing YouTube, but it is so worthwhile if you are willing to put in the hard work and stick with it. So yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, normal videos will resume very soon. Gonna get back out doing some more photography. Uh, uh, I want to in introduce more photography as well as gear stuff back onto this channel. So that's going to, that's going to slowly start to kick in. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and uh, I'll see you in the next one.